Boys, on today's episode of The Strongest News, we have a lot of news to cover. And I haven't done an episode of this in a long time. So guys, we're gonna be covering a lot of news today. So sit back, grab a snack, and check out this crazy news. All right, guys, so first up, there's a new moveset in the game. And it is for admins and developers only. And guys, this moveset is crazy. Seriously, this move is insane. Well, it's not even just moves. It's an entire moveset. Here, I'll just show you. All right, guys, so here we go. This is a video by Game Jam Pro. And guys, I just want you to take a look. Basically, his video is about another video. So let me pass down the credit here. His credit is to Ashy over on TikTok. So there, there's his TikTok right there. All right, but yeah, now that we have all the credits aside, guys, there is a new developer character in the game. Okay, just, just look. So as you can see, the first move is Ravage. I'll go ahead and let you guys see what this move looks like. I'm not gonna include sound just because I think he's got like music playing in the background, but you guys can go check out uh, Game Jam Pro's video if you wanna see what that's all about. But yeah, as you can see, this move looks super, super cool. I'm a huge fan of how it looks. I, I heard someone refer to it as a brawler move set. So yeah, guys, that's the Ravage move. All right, and next up we have Swift Sweep. So yeah, as you can see, this move, pretty simple, but this sends you flying backwards and it looks super sick. All right, next up, I am actually gonna turn sound on for this one. This one's called Undying Will. Let me just, uh, let me just go ahead and show you. Come on. So yeah, as you saw there, that was the ultimate activation. Pretty sick. And next up, we got Stoic Bomb. So I'll go ahead and show you guys this one. So yeah, here we go. Stoic Bomb. Super cool ultimate move. And yeah, it's a one shot. Now, guys, that's everything that we know so far. But I, I just want to remind you guys what happened with Gojo. Guys, if you don't remember, Gojo used to be a developer moveset. And then they made it a private server plus character. And I think that that's exactly what's going to happen with this character as well. It's a super cool moveset and it would be a shame for them to put all of this work into it just for it not to even get published to the players. So I think they're kind of hyping it up right now by letting a couple content creators just get a little taste of it. So yeah, stay tuned for that because I'd imagine that that's going to become a new private server plus character in the near future. So far, it only has two base moves and an ultimate move, but I'm sure that's going to change very soon. Anyways, guys, we've got a lot of news to cover. So let's go ahead and move on to the next story, which is something that's actually been out for just a little while at this point, but a lot of people haven't seen it yet, so I just want to go ahead and show it to you guys right now, because this was not discussed in any update logs or anything. So I'm on Roblox here, I'm going to go to the Strongest Battlegrounds game page, and I'm going to scroll down, click see more on the badges, and as you can see, Meet the Owner is a new badge. Now guys, unfortunately I did not get the chance to get this badge, because it came out like really recently, even though I've met the owner in game before, but you know, maybe in the near future, we'll see. So far, only 747 people have actually gotten it. So yeah, it's pretty cool to see a new badge like that. Not really too much else to say about it, to be honest. I guess you can like tell whenever the owner's playing the game and stuff. If 41 people won it yesterday, guess we know the owner played the game yesterday. But I mean, if you were the owner of the strongest battlegrounds, I feel like you'd play the game every day too. But yeah, guys, that's all the news that I've got for that. So let's go ahead and move on to the third piece of news today, which is that Lord Heaven and Faker Up are about to 1v1. Guys, this is so hype. Lord Heaven, the infamous super super good creator and player and the number one most popular strongest battlegrounds youtuber are about to 1v1 this is gonna be like when logan paul and ksi fight or however all that works honestly i do not keep up with boxing like social media boxing and all that i could not tell you the first thing about it but i know that it's really infamous and i know that this fight is also going to go down as one of the greatest fights in the Strongest Battlegrounds history. Faker Up released a little promotional video about it right here. So yeah, as you can see, it's it's just like a hype edit. And then at the end, he asks if he should 1v1 Lord Heaven. Definitely recommend going and checking out his video. But yeah, guys, this video is going to be hype when it drops. Everybody's talking about it. I know my boy Clowny Smash is out here talking about it. The community's super hyped, so make sure to go check that out when that drops. Because this is literally going to be like our first Logan Paul fight-esque thing on the strongest battlegrounds. But yeah, guys, if you don't care about that, then you might care about this next thing on our list. Yeah, guys, like I said, lots of news to cover today. So I'm kind of speed running through today's news because I don't want to make you wait. So yeah, guys, if you don't remember, uh, several of the in-game emotes are completely broken right now. Like take my money will just fling you sometimes. And not only will it fling you, it crashes your entire Roblox game harder than like any other crash that I've ever seen on any Roblox game ever. So yeah, I don't, I don't even want to do it right now because it will 
literally just break my entire game. I made a video on it a couple days ago if you want to go check that out though. It's right here, the most insane glitch in the strongest battlegrounds. Go give it a watch if you want. But yeah, the owner actually finally said something about it. So if we go into the Yielding Arts Discord server, which is just the Discord server for the strongest battlegrounds basically, the owner said right here, flings and bug problems are a Roblox bug. I don't know what Roblox is doing. So yeah guys, not really anything that the owner can do to fix that bug or anything. I mean, it's, it's kind of just another Roblox bug that is completely unfixable. So I would just recommend not doing the take my money emote, or if you are going to do it, do it with caution. I mean, there's like what, 200 other emotes in the game to pick from now. So just pick one of those. It isn't worth it to take my money. That's what I told the IRS when they asked for taxes, but for whatever reason, I still have to pay them. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and move on to the next piece of news, which is that the strongest battlegrounds has a new server. Honestly, guys, I should have put this earlier in the video because this is so important, but let me just go ahead and show you guys what this new server is. So for those of you that don't know what Gilded is, I'll, I'll just go ahead and explain it super quick. Gilded is literally just Discord. Yeah, you thought I was gonna say something else? No, that, that's literally what it is. It's just Discord, but it like has a different logo. That's literally the, the only difference. But guys, Gilded is actually in official partnership with Roblox, which means that Roblox can do some cool stuff with them. One of the things that Roblox can do is link their platform to Gilded. Now in the past, you could like link your Gilded account to your profile and stuff and people could see that. But as of recently, Roblox pushed out a new update to where you can create group shouts through your gilded server. Let me show you. So this is my group right here. And today I did a group shout. So as you can see, it's me. And then it got like, you know, a, a little image I posted. The aspect ratio limit for this is two by one, by the way. So don't do what I did. I posted a square image and the bottom half of it is cut off. But yeah, guys, as you can see, it looks way better than the old group shouts. By the way, don't join my gilded community. I promise you I'm never ever going to use that except for using like group shouts because it looks better. Join my discord server instead. But yeah, guys, guess who else has a new server? That's right, Yielding Arts, the creators of the strongest battlegrounds and the even more popular super bloxers. That's right, everyone knows Yielding Arts for super bloxers, right? Anyways, let's go back to Roblox over here on the Yielding Arts page. And as you can see right here, it says join the community. You're not gonna see this if your account's under 13, by the way, but yeah, if you just click, uh, just click anywhere on that notification, that little banner, it's gonna bring you to Gilded. And now, as you can see, this is literally, I mean, like, look, see what I mean? It's just Discord. It's literally just Discord. It looks the exact same. Although actually, I think I like the Gilded UI more than Discord's. Maybe I'm just tired of the Discord one, but yeah. As you can see, guys, the owner talks here sometimes. If you go to the announcement channel, you can see that there's a new update. So he posts the update log and even sometimes posts like art and stuff here, which is pretty gosh darn cool. I also love this art. Like what the heck? That's so smart. Like cracking open the egg yolk or whatever for the strongest eggs. Genius. Sorry, I just like that art. I wanted to say that. But yeah, guys, I really doubt that they're going to use this server for too much, but it's just good to keep an eye on it if you're like me and you want to, you know, see what else you can find. I'm always on the hunt for new updates and stuff. So yeah, I think they did a service to the community here, especially on Roblox with like groups and stuff because not everyone's old enough to have Discord. But now since Gilded is officially partnered with Roblox, people can sort of almost be a part of the Gilded community, even though you do have to still be 13 to use Gilded, I think. I'm like 99% sure you do. I don't know, go look it up. Oh wait, actually that's my job. I'm the content creator. Hang on, let me tell you. Yep, I knew it. Age 13. Same as Discord. What did I say? It's literally just Discord with a different logo. Tell me I'm wrong. But yeah, guys, let's go ahead and move on to some other news, which doesn't necessarily have to do with the strongest battlegrounds, but this is something that I wanted to talk about because it makes me so mad. It's something to do with the Roblox platform. And guys, okay, I've been on this platform for five years, like over five years. I've been playing this game every day. I know I'm such a nerd, but guys, in my time on this platform, the font has never changed. All right, the Roblox website always looked the same. Always always looked familiar. But guys, today, today I logged on Roblox and I was like, <laughs> something's off. And guys, that's when I realized Roblox changed their font. Let me just show you. Look, see, see the font is different. It's a different font than it was before. I don't like it. Why did they change the font? 
What was wrong with the other one? Also, yes, I use light mode, okay? I use dark mode on everything else, but this is better for thumbnails. Don't judge me in the comments, okay? But yeah, guys, I'm not a big fan of this, okay? But yeah, you guys are gonna have to let me know. Do you wanna see more, like, news in these videos that isn't necessarily about the strongest battlegrounds? Because I will happily tell you guys more news that's going on in the Roblox space. I almost became a news YouTuber before I became a strongest battlegrounds YouTuber, so if I could live that dream, that'd be great. But if that's not something that you guys are interested in, just let me know and I will not yap about it ever, ever again. But seriously, guys, I mean, this is, this is a lot to take in, okay? New fonts, it's a scary change, okay? Okay, I know, okay, wait, hang on, guys. Before I talk about this post, I just want to say, all right, I know I said I, I use dark mode on everything else, but okay, Twitter, Twitter I use light mode on too, but that's because I use Twitter for thumbnails sometimes too. Anyways, even my boy Real Wicked is talking about this. Why does Roblox hate us so much? What am I even looking at, bro? This font is hideous. I agree. I like how I've spent like the last minute and a half of this video just talking about the Roblox font, but as a, as a player of five years, I can't handle this change. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. I saved this for the end of the video so that you guys who do not care about it do not have to watch, but it's something that I wanted to talk about. All right, guys, and for our last piece of news, I want to talk to you guys about a little bit of an event that I'm doing. Basically, recently in the Strongest Battlegrounds, they released a new update for Private Server Plus. As you can see, it's a build mode update, and you can pretty much build whatever you want with this update. It's actually so such a cracked update, it's crazy. Boom, I can place a block, I can scale it however I want, I can rotate it, I can make it neon, and I can make it orange. And then when I hit it, I can make it give me my awakening, okay? That's the level of customizability that you have in this new update. And so guys, here's what you guys gotta do. Join up in my Discord server down below and make a cool build and submit it in the build submissions channel. I'm gonna be doing a video pretty soon where I showcase you guys best build. So make something big, make something cool, and you'll be in a future video of mine. It's gonna be awesome. For all of you who have ever wanted to be in one of my videos, now's your chance. Make something creative. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this episode of Strongest Battlegrounds News. Oh yeah, I've decided that that's the name now. The Strongest News, the Strongest Battlegrounds News. Let me know what you think the name should be in the comments. I just need an official name for this because we do news videos quite a lot around here, okay? That's one of my big things, all right? I'm classified as a news YouTuber, okay? So yeah, let me know what you think we should call it. And let me know in the comments what you think of the stuff that I covered in this video. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again very soon. Peace.